Um, hi, uh, today we're going to be doing uh, linking. Uh, so here's the word, the keyword and the concept, linking. So as you can see here from the little uh, picture, linking uh, means things are joined together, okay? Like this, okay? So in English, uh, if a word ends with a consonant, like this word here, k, so here's make, okay, that's a consonant. Okay, and then uh is a vowel. Okay, so actually you don't normally say make up. You say make up, make up. So the actual syllable break will be here. Make up, make up. Okay. Uh, so here's another example. Fill, fill. Okay, so there's a consonant. Okay, u, and then you have e, a vowel. So you don't normally say fill in, you say fill in, fill in, okay? So why is this important? Well, it's important because uh, uh, people learning English uh, may not understand when people are talking because they don't have the right model in their head of, of English pronunciation. So let me give you an example of a sentence with, uh, with linking. So the normal way to say this is, I put it in a box. I put it in a box. Okay. However, okay, some English learners, the model in their head may be something like, I put it in a box. I put it in a box. Okay. So therefore, I think linking is uh, relevant primarily for listening. Um, if a non-native English speaker were to say, I put it in a box, that's okay. It sounds a little strange but it's perfectly understandable. But the problem is, if an English speaker were to say, I put it in a box, then uh, an English learner may not understand him or her. Okay, so let's look at this. See, here we've got T and then uh, I. So T between vowels often becomes a D. See, there's a vowel and there's another vowel. Okay, so therefore it becomes a D. So I put it in a box. I put it in a box. I put it in a box. Okay, here's another example. He found out about it. He found out about it. He found out about it. Okay, so found Dao, found Dao. Okay, found Dao. Okay, Dao da Bao, Dao da Bao, about found out about it. Okay, so uh, a uh, somebody who doesn't speak English very well may not understand that what the person is saying because in their mind. Uh, their model is, he found out about it, but uh, uh, people don't talk like that if they speak in English. So uh, let's just use this video for listening practice with um, linking. So I'm going to read some sentences with linking, and then you think about what I said, and then I'll show you what I said. Okay? So here's the first sentence. She felt out of place there. She felt out of place there. What did I say? She felt out of place there. That's what I said. She felt out of place there. See the linking? Fell, tau, da, fell, tau, da. So the T is between the vowels, it becomes a D. She felt out of place there. Okay? Okay, let's do the second sentence. She lost a lot of money. She lost a lot of money. She lost a lot of money. Okay, see? Lasta lada, lasta lada, lost a lot of money. She lost a lot of money. Okay. Okay. Ready for the next sentence? I took out a loan. I took out a loan. I took out a loan. That's what I said. I took out a loan. So it's not normal to say I took out a loan. The normal way to say it is with linking. Took cow da. Took cow da. Took out alone. Took out alone. Okay, ready for the next one? How's it going? How's it going? Okay. That's what I said. How's it going? How's it? Not how's it going. How's it going? Okay, so how's it going is an informal way to say, how are you? 
How are you? Okay, let's do the next one. She put on her makeup. 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 What did I say? That's what I said. She put on her makeup. So, put on, oh, I should say that her, as I've mentioned before in my previous videos, uh, often is reduced to er. Okay, so if the pronoun begins with an H, like her or him, blah, 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 often it's uh, not pronounced, uh, especially if there's a consonant before that. Okay, so she put on her makeup. It's not normal to say she put on her makeup. It's more like she put on her makeup. Okay, so let's do the next one. He found out about it. He found out about it. He found out about it. That's what I said. He found out about it. He found out about it. Found, thou, da, about it. Found out about it. Okay? So there's a link in here too. Found, thou, da, about it. Actually, there's a link in here too. She found out about it. Okay, ready for the next one? He gave us a call. 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 That's what I said. He gave us a call. Gave us a, gave us a, gave us a call. So it's not normal to say, gave us a call. He gave us a call. He gave us a call. Okay, ready for the next one? He took off his shoes. 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 That's what I said. He took off his shoes. Okay? Took off his shoes. Took off his shoes. He took off his shoes. So he took off his shoes. That's not a normal way to pronounce it. Okay, and the next one. He read up on it. 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 That's what I said. He read up on it. But that's not normal to say it that way. See, he read up on it. See, up on it. He read up on it. He read up on it. Okay? Okay, then the last one. It broke off. It broke off. It broke off. That's what I said. It broke off. It broke off. Okay, so hopefully you found that uh, useful. Okay, we'll see you again next time.